Wearing your seatbelt reduces your risk of dying in a crash by 45% according to TxDOT. But many Texans still are not buckling up. In fact, TxDOT reports more than 1,200 Texans died last year because they were not wearing a seatbelt. KCBD News Channel 11's Natalie Falkenberry looks at the numbers and shows us what can happen even if you survive a serious crash without buckling up. A seatbelt violation can result in a fine and court costs of up to $200. Whether you're in the back seat, front seat, or traveling just around the block, it's the Texas state law to buckle up. Nearly 60% of fatal crashes occur at night and during early morning hours. And 60% of those killed were not wearing seatbelts. And while it is no doubt that you can't control the drivers around you, Wearing a seatbelt is the single most important precaution motorists and passengers can take. And if those statistics weren't enough to convince you to click it, then maybe hearing from Eden Gonzerla, a Texas driver who almost lost her life because she wasn't wearing a seatbelt, will. I broke nearly every bone in my body. I also suffered a traumatic brain injury that's left me unable to walk, talk, or fully use my left arm and leg. Eden was just driving to work, and now she has to use this computer to communicate with her family and friends. But with the help of my amazing parents, I am slowly learning how to talk and walk again. From now until June 4th, law enforcement from around the state will be working overtime to ticket drivers who are not buckled up. Natalie Falkenberry, KCBD, News Channel 11.